Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we'll be talking about one of the most interesting and yet uh, most asked questions that is there on the UPSC Civil Services examination and that would be, is 4-5 to five years worth considering for UPSC? So the answer is again a yes or a no. I'll tell you why. Because a person who has dedicated 4-5 to five years of his or her life would either be an idiot or would either be a genius who would eventually crack the examination. I'll tell you why. Because the examination such as UPSC, which is of such a high level uh, exam that is, uh, you know, that people all over India come and appear for. Uh, it's not an easy exam to crack, not at all. Be it the exam, be it the interview, it takes a huge amount of time when you uh, consider the exam. So what do you do? Uh, so what you do basically is that uh, you either just, you know, dive right into it or either just take slow steps. So I would be advising you that you have to look out for yourself. If you truly believe in yourself that your preparation is good enough and you'll crack the next year, then I think four to five years is worth it. Of course, if I talk about five years, it's a very, very great deal, uh, you know, of time. Okay. We are not just not joking out here. But um, I personally feel that it's more like, you know, uh, the kind of fields that you have, the kind of job profile that you would have uh, will be very, very different in the future. So um, I would think that it is uh, very much capable. But then if you're not really interested towards examination, if you think your preparation is not good enough, or I would say that if you think that you are not satisfied with the kind of preparation you're doing, or maybe you would not be able to, because let's be honest and let's face it, not everybody is uh, born to become an IS officer. Not everybody has the capabilities to crack the IS exam because it needs very different kinds of uh, mentality. It's not just about IQ or the kind of intelligence. I'm not saying that UPSC is the only exam that will determine your intelligence and if you're not able to crack it, then you're not in intelligent. No. There's a difference between intelligent and also being able to crack it. Okay, You might be the most intelligent person in the world and still not be able to crack UPSC. That is a possibility and that can happen. So it does not, it's nothing personal on you. It does not uh, tell you about your abilities. But then at the same time, there is a benchmark that is being set of this particular exam, which is obviously high. The bar is high. But still, I think the competition is good only when it's tough. Okay, Only when you're able to understand what it is. So I think you can talk totally go with it and I think you should actually go with it right it will be my humble advice for you uh, but still if you feel that you're not able to cope up with the kind of syllabus that is there with your preparation or your interest I think no matter what you do in life interest is the most important thing if, if you do not uh, you know like what you do if you not believe in what you do then I think uh, you know there's a little bit of issues going on so I would humbly request you all to uh, you know just look for yourself and just take a day out maybe to think about what really matters to you uh, and is UPSC worth it. If you feel that the answer is yes, if you think that it's worth it, please go ahead and you got this, okay? That's what I would want to say. You got this. You'll be able to do it. There is no doubt at all that you will be able to do it or not. I'm so sorry. I'm just, uh, yeah. So uh, please go ahead and uh, make your dreams into a reality. You will be able to do it. But then again, as I said, it's not a parameter for your intelligence. So if you're not really able to crack it, it does not mean anything that is wrong with you. But maybe there is some preparation uh, loophole or maybe there's some interest issues because most of the times people just see the benefits. Most of the times people just look at the bright side. They do not understand the kind of efforts and the kind of preparation and struggles that a new PSC aspect has to go through and just quickly you know feel that okay if I become an IS officer I'll have these benefits I'll have this pride and prestige but they do not really acknowledge this so I think this is something very very important to be acknowledged by and I know you guys will be able to do it so with this as I always say a huge all the best to all the aspirants out there uh, please have faith in yourself believe in the beauty of your dreams as Walt Disney said and do or die as Mahatma Gandhi said uh, this is the moment this is the time that you have in your hands make use of it to the best potential and then yeah you got this
um other than that uh, stay tuned for our channel for more such educational content we'll be updating good content almost every single day so please have a look at it understand acknowledge learn and grow thank you